So the first time I ever saw a psychologist was when I was 20 and I cried in my first session but then she said I don't know I don't know your story but I understand what you did what you did and that sort of gave me a hope and um, anyway I have I then seen her a few more sessions and she began to challenge me and in a sense that make me wake up to the reality and then years later I moved from Western Australia to New South Wales and uh, a friend of mine recommended for me to see a psychologist so I did I went to see the psychologist and it wasn't helpful uh, I didn't see another psychologist again it wasn't helpful and it's just weird because uh, psychologists are someone who support to help you uh, be better in life and be uh, live a healthy routine but I noticed from my experience that uh, there are good and bad psychologists apparently and that's kind of sad and the way to tell the difference between good and bad psychologists is that you need to ask yourself do you feel good after seeing this particular psychologist or do you feel bad or you feel worse if you feel good that's a sign that it's a good psychologist but if you feel bad if you feel being patronized or you feel like you've been talked down like a five years old and this sort of side to give you a clue of what to do next the good thing about seeing psychologists now is that you don't have to call them right away to tell that you no longer want to see them you just call up the reception and they'll handle your cancellation for seeing the psychologist because when you think about it psychologists are people who are making money from listening to you and just because they qualify doesn't mean they have um, momentum to really try to help you in this, your problem my experience is that a lot of the time my psychologist would tell me what was important and what was not and where I should focus on and it felt like so patronizing because it just wasn't good of all that's all I can say and it wasn't encouraging it was really much feel uh, patronized in a way that you don't know how to explain and then you pay money sixty dollars per session for what just so you can feel, feel worse about yourself and so I stopped seeing psychologists what I did instead was I keep a diary and uh, this is actually a good way to go about because the thing is when you keep a personal diary you can write out any thought anything you want to write out any dark any deep thought you can think of you can write it down and then when you reflect when you read back you reflect on this thought and you begin to know oh that's where i was wrong that's where i made a mistake that's where i didn't see things clearly and also it's a way of express yourself when you write something down think of musician artist uh or the form of uh, people, create, creative people they express themselves in their work and your diary needs to be your work where you this is a psychologist that you don't know you need it but it's actually better than real psychologist from my experience and I'm not saying you should never see a psychologist but what I'm saying is that you need to know the sides where it's going downhill and if you feel good about seeing psychologists or they just toy you with you with ideas so you can uh, see them more sessions so you soon can you will spend more money on that person who will not give you a better path to discover who you are so yeah after stop stop seeing psychologists i feel better i feel happier um actually happier that i'm no longer need a psychologist all i need is a notebook and a pen and i can just write out anything i want and i just read and reflect on that so this type of self uh, assessment self therapy is better than seeing psychologists that's uh, from my experience so i hope you find a good a way out of uh, any abusive 
any toxic relationship this including your relationship with uh, your psychologist